In this video, I'll show you how to create a website in the simplest way possible. I'll show you how to select a web hosting provider, how to register everything, set everything up, then work on your website's design and performance optimizations. The whole thing should take around like 15 to 20 minutes and by the end of it, you'll have a professional looking product that you made in the easiest way possible. The first thing you'll need is web hosting and the domain name. So click the link in the description, this will take you to Hostinger and will apply an additional discount to your purchase. Now click on the domain checker. Here you'll have to choose your website name, so just type in whatever you would like to use and check if it's available. If it is available, great, click add to cart. And now click select a hosting plan. You will be able to choose from three plans, but for your first website, even the cheapest one will do just fine. Your website will not suffer from it, it offers all of the premium features other plans offer, so I recommend starting there. Now, scroll down a bit and type in the code Emmet Reviews. This will give you an additional 10% discount on your purchase, saving you that cash. And just fill out the rest of the form as usual. So once you're done, your control panel should look something like this. And now we can actually get into the interesting part of setting everything up and start working on the actual website. Next to the plan that you purchased, click Setup. Then click Start Now. If you purchased a website name from Hostinger like I showed previously, choose it from the list here. Fill out all of the necessary information this is basically required to properly register your website name. Once you're done with that, click Finish Domain Registration. Now select the Build a new website option and select WordPress. Think of the WordPress login information that you'll use later to log into your website. Next, click on Skip. I don't need a template because the ones presented here aren't very good. We'll be adding a better one later. And now don't miss this part because you can't go back to change this later. Click on this little button here and select the region where you expect your users to be from. So if you expect users from the United States, choose the United States. Remember, choose this based on your user location, not yours. This allows you to choose whichever server your website files will be stored on. During this process, Hostinger actually creates all of the necessary file folders and databases for your website, then install the required files on it. So the only thing that's left to do for you is think of how do you want your website to look because we're gonna work on the website design in the upcoming sections. Keep in mind that it will take some time before your website name becomes visible to the public. But in that time, we can work on the website design. So click Manage next to your web hosting plan and then click on Edit Website. This will take you to the WordPress dashboard. This is where all of it happens. You'll be able to add additional functionality, you'll be able to change the design or add content. First, hover over the Appearance button and select Themes. This will allow you to install and edit a pre-existing template, making your work faster and more professional. Click the Add New button in the search bar to the side here, type in Astra, hover over the theme and click Install. Once the installation is over, click the Activate button. And then next, click on the Get Started button and choose Elementor as your website builder. Now, you'll see a pretty big list of already made templates. I recommend clicking on the free tab and then sorting them by free, because some of these are paid, you don't want those. Once you find something you like, just click import and wait for the whole thing to finish, it's completely automatic. Now, after this is done, your website will immediately look like the design you're chosen, complete with filled in text and button placeholders. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna show you how to edit each element of that website to make it truly unique and yours. Okay, let's get started. In your WordPress dashboard, click the button up top here and then click visit a site. This will take you to your current website. Then click on edit with Elementor. Okay, so one very important detail to understand about how Elementor works, and once you do understand this, your life is gonna be so much easier, 
Elementor works in boxes. It's a box-focused design tool. Your whole web page is a huge box. Every section is a box within that box. And within that box, every button has a box. Every picture has a box. It's all boxes, that's what I'm trying to say. And you need to layer your boxes smart. Always work in this fashion. This way, your designs will be mobile responsive every single time. Okay, so moving your mouse around, you can see the boxes that I was talking about. Everything has its own outline. The great thing about editing a template instead of working from scratch is that you do not need to think about the structure. You can go ahead and edit the smallest details right away. For example, to change a text element, simply click it and type in what you want. Now, to change the design, size, font or color of any text element, what you need to do is click on it and here, on the sidebar, go into the Style tab. For text colors, it's pretty self-explanatory. Click on text color and choose your color from the color picker. So this method is basically applied to any text element on your website. Now, not everything that the template comes with is something you need, right? If you find an element that you don't want on your website, just right-click it and then click the delete button. This will remove it from your website, and if by any chance you made a mistake and you did something you didn't want to do, you can click Ctrl Z at the same time and it will undo the last step. And this is the general principle of how Elementor works. You click something, then you go to the sidebar and you play around with the settings until it's something that you like. For example, let me show you how to edit a button next. So just like with the text, click it and you'll be able to change what it says and add a link to where it leads when clicked. To change the color, you'll need to go into the Style tab as always, click on Background Color and choose what you want. Now, this will change the primary color of the button. If you want for it to change color when someone hovers the mouse over it, you'll need to click on the Hover tab and make the necessary changes there. And here, within a couple of seconds, we have a completely custom button, so hooray us! By the way, a good trick is to copy the color from another element, so you don't miss and match the colors by accident. You can do so by clicking on the element that you want, going into their color section, and copying the color code. Moving on to edit pictures, as always, click on the picture and then click choose image on the sidebar right here. Here you can upload any image you like, just drag and drop any picture you want to see in that section and click insert media. You can find a lot of helpful stock photos at websites like freepic.com or pexels.com. Just before you upload these images to your website, make sure to reduce their size as much as possible. You can do so by uploading the same image that you downloaded to something like tinypng.com. And if you ever need any icons for your website, you can find those at flaticon.com. All of these resources are completely free to use, and I use them for my websites all the time. It looks great, it's fast, and it's professional. To change the size of the image, you can click on it and then go into the Style tab to adjust the width of that image. You should see the size change right away. But do keep in mind to check how elements look on the mobile version and the tablet version of your website as well. You can do so by clicking these little buttons right here. Actually, if you want to play around with the position just a little bit, you can click on the image, then click on the advanced section. And in the advanced section, there's this little percentage mark that you can click, then click on the chain to unlink all of the values. That means you can edit each value independently and by editing those values in the margin or padding sections, you can actually move the image around a bit. But make sure to check on mobile and tablet devices as well by clicking at the very bottom there to make sure that the design isn't broken on those two fronts. Okay, so we've already got a lot of work done, but now let's talk about the backgrounds, more specifically, how to change yours. Right click on it and click edit section. Next, click Choose Image, drag in the image you want, and click Insert Media. That's it. You can play around with the settings to make the background scroll together with the page, 
or change positions overall. But what if you want to add some extra functionality to an already existing section? Well, you can drag and drop items from the sidebar to add the extra functionality, and they will become editable just like everything else on your website. However, there is a way to get already made sections as well. If you would go to the bottom of the website, you would see this plus sign. By clicking on it, this allows you to use sections from other templates and simply import them onto your site. Scouting around for already made sections will greatly reduce the time you spend on your website and will probably improve the quality of it. When you're just starting out, I recommend to edit as much as possible and create from scratch as little as possible. Because when you're editing, you already have a good foundation and you can be sure that the least amount of things can go wrong. If you're creating something from scratch, that can create a lot of frustration and just a lot of time wasted starting over on the same designs. Once you're finally done with all of your website changes, click the update button and preview changes to see how your website looks. Keep in mind that templates usually come with several pages of content, as you can see here in the menu. So the number of pages you have on your website needs to be edited through WordPress. So in your WordPress dashboard, if you would go ahead and click on the pages section, you can see all of the different ones your template came with. You can delete them. This will obviously just get rid of the page. You can add new ones or simply change the names of existing pages if you already edited them to your liking. Now let's see how you can edit the menu of your website. Start by once again visiting your website in edit mode. Press the customize button at the top and now choose menus, then click primary menu. This will allow you to edit the main menu that you see on your website. If you want to change the order of the buttons on that main menu, simply drag and drop them in the order that you would like to see them. This will update the arrangement of the menu completely automatically. Keep in mind that there are two possible positions for your menu buttons. They can be separate to go as a separate button or go under another menu item creating a dropbox menu. To rename a menu element, all you need to do is click on it and change the navigation label. This can be done in your Hostinger control panel. So just log in, click manage, next to your website name, scroll down and click on email accounts. Pretty simple. Enter the name of your email account that you want to use and just think of a password for that email box. Now all you need to do is click the create button. With the cheapest hosting a plan, you'll only be able to create one email address. If you upgrade your plan, you'll be able to make up to 100 different email addresses. To check the email addresses, you need to click on this blue email button and it will take you to a separate email box. By the way, it is possible to sync up your work email together with your personal Gmail account, so you would receive all of the emails in the same email box, except the work ones would have a little work tag next to them, so you could separate them. I have a tutorial on how you can do that right around here. So at this point, you should have a professional looking website and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I actually have more tutorials that are completely free and easy to follow that you can find on my channel. For example, how to secure your website for free and how to make it faster. I recommend you watch those videos next. Anyways, my name is Emmett. Good luck creating your websites. Honestly, I don't know who the fuck to trust. This is my friend or my fault. I must have exit control. Yeah, she give me that claim as well. I remember back when I was younger, I was happy. Nowadays, feel like no one understands me. I'm good at artists, silly, I'm about to blame me. 